All right. Now let's talk about identity provider, AWS identity provider. An AWS IDP is a service that enables you to use an external identity management system to authenticate users and provide them with access to AWS resources. With an identity provider, you can allow users to sign in with their existing credentials rather than creating a new AWS specific credentials. Okay, let's say you are an organization which was having Azure Active Directory already. Okay, let's assume that. Now you have started using AWS. So your users are already there in Azure Active Directory. So what you can do is instead of creating new users, new set of users or roles in your AWS account, what you can do is you can use the users that you are already having in Azure Active Directory, create a group, right? And add that particular thing as an identity provider to your AWS account. So I have already set this up in my account. Okay, so just to test this out, I had already tried it. Okay, I have my Azure Active Directory account and I have integrated that as an identity provider for my AWS account also. Okay, here are some key points that you need to know before uh, dwelling more into AWS identity providers. Okay, so the supported identity providers are AWS supports several popular identity providers including Amazon Cognito. So this is a, a AWS, you know, uh, uh, you know, uh, proprietary um, uh, service. Microsoft Active Directory. You can go with Okta and others, right? So how authentication actually happens? When a user attempts to access an AWS account or a resource, they are redirected to their identity provider's login page. So they need to enter their credentials and then the identity provider or then authenticates the user and returns an access token to AWS, right? So that is used to grant access to the requested resource. So this is how it works. Next, what is identity federation? An identity provider can be used to enable identity federation, which allows you to grant temporary access to AWS resources to users who are authenticated by external identity provider. Basically, this allows you to provide access to AWS resources without requiring the users to have an AWS account or credentials. Right, that is identity federation. Next, identity provider configuration. So to configure an AWS identity provider, you must first create an identity provider in AWS Management Console and then create an IAM role that allows users authenticated by the identity provider to assume the role and access AWS resources. So I have already done that in this is my AWS Management Console. And here if you come under identity providers, I have something called as Azure AD added already. Okay, so if you want to add a new provider, what you need to do is you can click on add and you you can, you know, add that as a SAML and you will get something called as metadata document and you need to attach that file here. After that, you can able to add the provider. So what I'll do is I'll make a separate video for this one because this is not required for your examination. So this demonstration, I'd be doing that uh, you know, in a separate video and I'll be adding that in the same playlist. Okay, make sure to check that. But it will take some time for me to make a video on that. So please forgive me for that. Next, so what are the best practices? So best practices for using AWS identity providers include ensuring that the identity provider meets your organization's security and compliance requirement, regularly reviewing and updating identity provider configurations and using multi-factor authentication to further secure access to your AWS resources. AWS identity providers provide a secure and flexible way to authenticate users and provide them with access to AWS resources. By using an identity provider, you can enable users to sign in with their existing credentials 
and reduce the number of AWS specific credentials that need to be managed and simplify access to management for your AWS environment, right? So this is what uh, we had for identity provider.